What's going on, Combat Sports Nation? This is Sean here in Aguam, Captain Jimmy's, for the meet and greet with some of the local fighters that will be fighting at World Series of Fighting 31, June 17th. Saul Almeida, the spider. What's going on, my friend? I appreciate you uh, giving me a little bit of time. So, so you're returning to the World Series of Fighting against uh, a, another tough local local guy, regional guy, uh, Bruce Boynton. He's a Taekwondo black belt. Um, he's had a lot of success on the feet, but at the same time, he's also fallen victim. Uh, all but one of his losses have been via choke. Yeah. So, um, how do you approach knowing that he's had a, a strong stand-up game, but also has faltered on the ground uh, with submissions? How have you been approaching that? Uh, I don't really care what he's going to do, what he's good at, what he's bad at. I know my skills. I know what I can do. I'm just going to go go at him at a high pace, full gear. No stopping. I know he has some submission losses. I know if I want to submit him, I could do it. Easy. But, you know, he, he has some fancy kicks. Doesn't bother me. He kicks me, I'll take him down if I want. And I feel my boxing's better. My wrestling's better. So I'm going to just go at him. And he, he's never fought anybody with a, with a high pace. And once I put that pace on him, he's going to be backtracking and he's going to be gassing out. And I just... I just see me taking over. Now, you, the last time you made a cage appearance, it was at World Series of Fighting, uh, Alejandre, Ale, Alexandre Almeida. de Almeida, right? And in the very next fight, he fought for the title. He's now the champion. Um, do you believe you would have been put in that same situation if you had beaten him on the undercard or the prelims? And... Does that? How does that sit with you, knowing that's very next fight it was for a title, and how bad do you want that back? Oh man, that was, that was devastating. You know that fight. I came in second place. That absolutely, had I won, I would have been fighting main event in Vegas for the world title against Lance Palmer. So you know, it was a little bit bitter because it was it slipped away. I made a, a small mistake, but. I've adjusted to that, and hopefully we can get back on track. But, you know, good for him. He's the champ now, so he's doing his thing. I'm doing my thing. I'm not really looking at that title anymore. I'm just looking for, for the fights right now and to put me on a good spot. So I'm just looking to get some fights in. Uh, I had a long layoff. Uh, for most people, and it might not be, but I like to fight three, four times a year. Mm -hmm. So. Uh, I like to stay active, so I, I just want to get, you know, uh, a few more fights this year, and not really looking where it puts me. Just, you know, want to fight, get paid. You spent some time with uh, former UFC champ Jose Aldo um, during your during your layoff. Uh, how much training with him has that helped you evolve, and what can the the fans expect um, come June seventeenth? Uh, Helped me tremendously, you know. I'm, I'm training with the greatest of all time, the featherweight, the former featherweight champion. So I, I definitely had some knowledge passed on to me, and just when you when you're in there, you're sparring with one of the best. It just it, it puts you, it shows you where you're at, mm -hmm. in, in in a skill level, and it just it makes you get better. Like there's no way not to, because he's pushing and you got to push back. So it was a great experience, you know. He's he's a great friend of mine right now, so. Anytime I'm down there, I'm welcome to stay with him or train with him. So that was a, a great experience. So I'm looking to do that again. But he, he, he'll be back. He'll get the interim title, and he'll fight Connor again, and it's going to be a different fight, I feel. And what can the fans expect from you uh, upon your return, your 1-1? One one? What can the fans expect uh, you trying to push that record to 2-1 and one with the World Series? Uh, it's definitely going to be 2-1, and one, and they can expect a high-paced fight. And... I'm going to go at him. I don't care. It's going to be kill or be killed. You know, uh, I'm looking to go there and whoop him. You know, if he does it to me, then good on him. But I'm coming at him straight up and get my hand raised. That's what I'm looking at. So thank you so much. I appreciate thank your you time. We, we do appreciate and look forward to seeing you. Combat Sports Nation, man. I appreciate it. Yeah. <laughs>